But first, Hurricane Burl is now a Category 5 storm, leaving a path of destruction as it gains strength moving through the Caribbean. 10 Tampa Bay is live. I'm Carolina Lee. And I'm Dave Wagner. Burl made landfall this morning, lashing the Caribbean island of Caracou in Grenada. This is a, a look at the storm as it made landfall. Tonight, many homes and other build, buildings are destroyed there by the wind and flooding. Officials have received reports of devastation from Caracou and surrounding islands. But the extent is unclear because communication to and from the island is limited. 10 Tampa Bay is your hurricane headquarters. Meteorologist Colleen Campbell joining us now. Colleen Burl is quickly moving now towards Jamaica. Yeah, Carolina, Dave, we're keeping a track on barrel. Uh, if anybody joined us during the six o'clock show, this is something that we were afraid was going to happen because we saw the pr pressure that was becoming lower and we saw what was known as a uh, eye wall replacement. So when the eye walls replace, these storms typically do get stronger, and that's exactly what Hurricane Barrel did. So here's the loop. We had a feeling this was going to happen, especially within the last hour, because Hurricane Hunters brought back the data, and you can see here the pressure at that time from that uh, mission was 934 millibars. That is very low pressure for a uh, system. Uh, hurricane, this is a big magnitude. And then when this wind speed was 158 miles per hour, so we knew ahead of that 11 p.m. advisory that it was going to be upgraded to that Category 5 status. So where did we go from here? Well, we are looking at Barrel to continue in that direction towards the northwest. It is less than 500 miles away from the Dominican Republic, less than 900 miles away from Jamaica. The latest track has portions of Dominican Republic and Haiti under that tropical storm warning, while Jamaica is under a hurricane warning at this time. We're going to look at this track really quickly here. It could still be a major hurricane by the time it brushes south of Jamaica. From there, it will continue its journey westward, and we are hoping that it weakens at that time as it begins to approach the Yucatan Peninsula. After that, it looks like it potentially could turn into a tropical storm as it enters into the Gulf basin, but we're a couple days from that. Our main concern right now would be Haiti, Dominican Republic and Jamaica as a storm system looks to brush south of those areas.